Before all this nonsense started 18 months ago, there was nothing I liked more than going for a pint with my dad, with a friend, or anybody else. Normal life for a normal run-of-the-mill bloke like me. Well, it appears now that landlords in certain pubs are going to think they're going to be a bit picky and choosy about who they let in the door. Good luck with that one. How do everyone? Welcome back for a Friday. Still in my living room. Hope you're all doing all right. I'm going off to work in a bit. Well, it started, hasn't it? First, I brought you a story earlier about Sainsbury's and Tesco's enforcing certain rules which aren't enforceable from Monday. I can see arguments talking about it there. And now it's off to the pubs. Off to the pubs for a pint, only to get there, and you'll be told you can't come in unless you've had two shots in the arm. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. They'd rather prefer two shots of whiskey, I'm sure. But then, what will happen if you say no? You'll be turned away. Lost revenue for the pub. It's all started, and it started with a pub in Norwich called the Gardener's Arms. Have a look at this. Phil Cutter is his name, and cutting out customers is his game. If you can't prove that you've had the relevant, you're not welcome in for a drink in his establishment. Well, what do we say about that? That's okay, we'll go somewhere else. I think anybody that goes down this route is discriminating, and it's all going towards helping this two-tier society that's going to end up being created between the haves and the have-nots. And all Phil Cutter and anyone else who decides to follow his suit will do is ruin their businesses. You know, the pub trade and other related services have been on their knees for the last 18 months. And you'll be lucky if a lot of them stay open with attitudes like this. You look at the pub industry before, you know, the old Kung Flu. It was in trouble. You had some of the bigger establishments closing down and these little microbreweries popping up all over the place. They were very nice, don't get me wrong. But we can't have a situation where there's one rule for one and one rule for another. We're one society, we're one country, we're one people. We should be entitled to go in a pub for a pint with our friends. And the landlord of that establishment should see it for what it is. I can only believe that Mr Cutter is got one or two things going through his mind. He's worried about someone in there getting the old convids and him being sued for it, or he's been filled with so much fear because of all the propaganda and bullshit that's been spoon-fed to us in the news over the last 18 months. He doesn't want anyone near him who hasn't had the old Punjab. Uh, either way, it's a sorry state of affairs. But that's OK, Phil, Mr Cutter, landlord, whatever you'd like to be called. If I'm passing through Norwich, don't worry, I won't be coming into your establishment because I won't be told that I have to prove my medical status to you or anyone else. And anyone else of like mind, for that matter, that wants to go for a drink in a pub, be it the Gardener's Arms in Norwich or anywhere else that encounters this, I suggest you go down your local Lidl's for four cans of your finest and go and sit in the comfort of your own home and drink them there. It will be far safer all round and you'll be out of the way when the arguments start. That's what I think about it. It stinks like everything else that's happening in this world and I look forward to Monday when the arguments start. Anyway, for now, this is the Gabby Cabby signing off. Doodaloo! Doodaloo!